Hey, what's happening, you guys? This is your boy, Credit D. Will, your everyday creative dad. Welcome to the channel, and thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Man, I got a super duper dope video prepared for you guys. I'm gonna be taking y'all through one of my favorite plugins of all time, and that is Output Sounds um, Arcade. Uh, I use this plugin a lot on a lot of my beats that I make. Um, if you go check out my 30 day beat, beat challenge that I did, I made 30 beats in 30 days and 30 minutes. Um, I use this plugin pretty much on all of those beats and uh in one 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 way or another so we're gonna take a look at they just added a new lo-fi instrument to the arcade um i guess bundle whatever you would call it and it's called um downtime i produce primarily lo-fi music so that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today i made a beat and i'm gonna show you guys how i use this plugin to make music super duper fast and super duper easy so y'all know what time it is let's dive in and let's get creative All right, you guys, so welcome back. Um, so as you can see, I have an instance of Arcade pulled up. Well, I have an instance of Complete Control pulled up, but then I loaded Arcade inside of Complete Control. I like to pull, if you have Native Instruments, I'm a Native Instruments guy, I love Native Instruments products. I utilize Complete Control to control like all of my instruments and all of my plugins inside of Cubase. I don't know why, but it seems like whenever I use arcade inside of complete control it doesn't use so much cpu and it just runs a lot smoother than i would if i was just running arcade by itself so that's a little tip for you guys if you have arcade and you got complete control um by native instruments utilize complete control inside of um arcade i mean utilize can arcade inside of complete control all right so now that that's out of the way so as soon as you open it up you'll be right here to this home page and this is like all the updates and everything that's new um you want to make sure you update when, when you download it it should automatically download the newest uh version of of uh arcade if you have an older version you want to update this one because the new version gives you opportunity to play different notes and everything rather than just playing samples historically it was good for playing samples and you could just play samples over different um uh, keys and everything like that so uh i typically don't even worry about this right here unless i see like an update thing right here it says update and then i'll go and download the update so we go over here to lines and um lines is just shows you all the different kits and stuff that you can you can actually sample and and play um play different instruments and stuff so if i come right here and hit preview <laughs> So you can see that this says new right here. So that's the new lo-fi downtime um, line that they added. And then you can come over here, you can preview other stuff. So that it kind of gives you a, a, a brief description of what it is, but then I like to listen to it to see if it's something that I want to cook up with. Uh, I, don't I'm, want I love their, um, this vocal it called hook this vocal plugin vox plugin or whatever um it has some really really dope sounds so let's take a look at uh this this downtime plugin so when you click on it it gives you a few different options here so you can come over here and you can go to the sampler kits their sampler kits all it does is load different samples on um on the key so i go right here I'm going to show you guys the note kits here in a little bit. And then the samples right here is all of the different samples within all of these different um, uh, kits. So you got your notes. You can play it. Uh, the notes of a of a of a sound on all of your keys, or you can go to the sample, which it has samples mapped out on different keys. And I'm gonna show you guys what what I'm talking about here. So if I go over here to samples, you just gotta click on it, and you have the ability to come over here. You know what? Uh, let me get out of here. Let me take this off. Uh, I have complete control map to um, scalar, so it's playing it's playing the notes, um, playing chords and stuff for me. So we won't we don't want that. So if I'm right here, do do do. Let's bring this up. You can see I'm pressing down. If I press down this, these these are mapped to actual keys. So you can see that it kind of looked like a keyboard. You got your white keys down here and you got your black keys up here. So what you can do is you can come in here. Uh oh. And 
and I can change the key, whatever key that I want to play this in, and automatically switch. We're gonna play an F minor, and it has these different knobs in here. These are like macro knobs that adds different effects to it. So if I play this. It's that simple. And right then and there, I have a loop to start off with that sounds totally different. Um, it, it's like sky's the limits with this thing. So I come back over here to lines. I can come over to another kit and I can play multiple ones. It got drums. And you notice right here, it automatically kept, uh-oh, you guys can't see. It automatically kept my um, key to the same um, uh, key. So I can hit lock right there and it'll lock it to the key. So whenever I switch over, it, uh, um, it'll switch over to the to the, to, to the key that I'm in. So boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna bring that back up. Boom, come back down here. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so anyway, so like I said, it, all of these samples are mapped out over the keys. Now, the thing that they just introduced with the update is why you wanna update is because now you have the ability to play different notes. So this is like an instrument now. Right, so. These are different previews of these these different type of instruments. So now you see right here is no longer those, just those uh, uh, small keys. This is everything that's mapped out over from C1 all the way to C7. And these are, these are notes and stuff that I can play. So I can come back over here and I'm gonna map this back to a uh, uh, scalar. And we're just gonna play some chords on this. Um, Uh-oh. Boom. Let me go back over here. We're gonna play some chords on this 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 plugin, and that'll give you a sense of what you can do with this thing. So. And literally, man, you can come over here. you want it listen to how that sounds man this plugin is such a freaking man yo output sounds i really i really 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 love this plugin this is like one of my favorite plugins of all time i know i said that before but i want to go back here to all lines and i'm gonna show you guys the vocal plugin because i absolutely love the vocal um plugin that they have and i i actually prefer the um the samples on this thing, so it plays samples. In one button and I actually have it set to chords on scalar so it's playing multiple samples at the same time which is giving me that 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 big lush sound that you were hearing so I'm playing multiple samples just by playing one chord let me take this off boom take off something this is crazy. Like I said, I made a whole beat utilizing just this one plugin. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it real quick. This is a lo-fi beat that I made uh, playing just utilizing that that downtime um, lines plugin from Arcade. <laughs> Everything came from this plugin, the bass, everything. Crazy. 
So that is literally it. And like I said, man, I like to utilize it inside of um complete control because now all I have to do is open up one instance of it. And if I wanted to, I can come over here and um just loop it and just keep keep literally uh rendering it down so like i did here so you, as you can see all of these different instances these instruments right here were recorded in utilizing just this one instance of complete control but i rendered it down and just dropped it down and just switched the instrument so i had just this one instrument open and i was able to make a whole track utilizing it from the bass to this this lead sample to the arcade e piano to the high synth you see arcade bell all of these were used from from this plugin and i just added some drums from native instruments but other than that everything all the instrumentation was used from um arcade so i just wanted to give you guys a little quick snippet of a cheat code of a plugin like it seems like every company is now coming out with these super duper dope plugins like um native instruments came out with playbox that kind of does the same thing as this um and they're doing it in a way where it's making it super duper easy for producers to make dope music dope high quality sound and music and i think that that this plugin really 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 captures that so if you're interested in this plugin man go get it i highly recommend it they have a it's only ten dollars a month so you can cancel at any time if you don't like it but if you're thinking about creating a super duper dope project shoot go get this plugin it sparks a lot of inspiration it's super simple to use and it gives you some dope ideas you can start creating those different loops and samples right off the bat so that's pretty much it, you guys. I wanted to show y'all guys my favorite plugin to use when I'm cooking up beats. And um, yeah, I hope you guys love this video. And if you do, please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Also, uh, I'm gonna post the link in the description where you can get this. Uh, it's gonna be an affiliate link. I do get a little kickback from this. Um, but if you guys wanna support the channel, that's a great way to support the channel. I don't get paid to make these videos. This is my 100% honest review and I use these plugins every day so y'all thank you for sticking it out to the end until next time be awesome be creative and don't let anybody stop you from doing what it is you want to do in life till next time deuces